this here was part of a two home run day for Tommy Sheridan his first two home runs of his career the sophomore lit it up for Canisius early as they opened up a three-run lead right out of the bottom of the first inning and he tacked on home runs throughout the course of this game and trotted one off there is three runs in the bottom of the first one in the bottom of the second and two. that advantage has since been erased the uh, five straight runs from Manhattan is now that one's hammered by Tommy Sheridan towards left field can he get to he can Tommy Sheridan circle the bases again his second career home run his second home run of the season and second home run of the day comes right now to cut the deficit to one in the bottom of the sixth we talked about how quickly things can change it was a big week for the Griffs and then that was extinguished by the Jaspers, but they end up taking a two-run lead, and now just like that, the Griffs pull back within one. It's been a very hot and cold game, both teams having leads, both teams giving up leads, as the Griffs are now looking to work their way back, one run away from tying this thing up. Tommy Sheridan, too good as he hammered that one towards left field. You think They're all mistaking that. Sheridan up, he's got a hit as well. Sheridan hitting 250 on the year. Pitch to the plate is low. Sports news for the day. Let's get to that. Several things to cover. As Redmond readies. Pitch swung on and a line drive shot off the wall. And back at the wall, here's the throw by Hunter. And a double for Sheridan will move Swerve to. Yesterday, Tommy Sheridan will come to the plate. It'll be Tommy and then Cam King, Caleb Berry, 9 1 2 do up and one. Another inning of work from JD Greeley. And, I mean, he's been cruising today. Yeah. Especially last inning. Bases got loaded, Five swung on, popped year. up right side. Running over is the first baseman. He's going to watch that one drop foul out of play. And five pitch last inning. Well, he's been had little to no issues. Base got loaded in the third. It was off a couple of walks as well, but he hasn't allowed a hit in this ball game. The Doughboys have one hit, and it was Logan Sutter's single that ended the day yesterday. But only other base runners for John City have been reaching on errors or walks. The 0-1 to Tommy. Swung on, shot the right side. That's going to change. That'll drop fair. Yes, Tommy's going to round first. He's going to be up at second with a Johnson City double tree double. Lead off double for Tommy Sheridan. And that's exactly what you need if you're the Doughboys. you got to find a way to... Protect, bud.
Freshman, just like Mason Sisko, trying to get his second hit. There's a deep fly. Ranging back, Tommy Sheridan off the wall. It's off the eye in the Griffin sign. One run will come around to score. And Tommy Sheridan with the stand-up double. That's the first extra base hit of his college career. Outstanding, Mr. Dill. I was just going to look. I'm looking at the stats, Mr. Delapena. And I see that Tommy Sheridan had one hit this season, and it was a single. So he's getting in on the hit parade. It is, it is the day of the extra base hit for the Canisius, soon-to-be-university Golden Griffins. There you go. Already getting the hang of it. I got to get into the practice.